nearly stayed in Birmingham because I've heard a story that you're literally doing a medical with Wolves, yeah. right? When yeah. you sign for Fulham, yeah, take us there, man. What's what like? So were you very close to signing to Wolves? Like you must have been literally yeah. minutes away. Literally on minutes. So, <laughs> so, so Bobby Zamora. So Zamo, basically my agent. I, I have to. <laughs> it's <laughs> really thing. Um, so, so me and Bob, so Bob, we played at Brighton, and we've kept in contact ever since then, and we're best friends. So I was literally having a medical at Wolves. So the pre, the the fir, probably two or three weeks before that, Mick McCarthy was at Wolves. He reached out and he was like, look get you out of Villa, I'll give you a chance, you know, it'd be a good platform for you. Wolves were playing some good football as well at the time. Yeah. And I thought, Joe, what, let's do it. I just want to get out, I want to play. And I give Mick my word as well. It's just really Gentlemen's bad. agreement. I know, oh, it's dear. really, really bad. So, <laughs> oh, uh, dear. so yeah, he, he put all the hard work in and I was like, listen, let's do it. So they played Chelsea a night game. They beat them. We stayed over and we had the medical the next morning. So on the way to the medical, I spoke to Bob's and I said, I'm going to med- have med- medical at Wolves. So obviously he's coming here. He's told Eddie Ned, <laughs> he told, um, uh, told Bo and told Mark Hughes. So he was like, listen, citizens. He's knocking on doors in there. Yeah, going, literally right? come in. He was like, listen, citizens having a medical at Wolves. Yeah. So if you want to get him, you need to act fast. So we got to Wolves. I'm in the training kit. I'm in the dressing room. I knew a few of the players. Wow. They're in for a warm down. And... I'm literally on the machines and then my agents sort of just give you that, that one on the door. And he said around the corner. <laughs> and can gone, I have a word? And literally yeah. said, I need to have a word. And then they're, they're, I'm like, I'm in the kit. I'm literally, the, like, the, I'm having the testings done. And uh, yeah, all the boys have gone, oh, yeah, it's not signed yet. It's not done. It's not done. So I'm going, so I got outside and we sat in the car. He said, listen, well, uh, Fulham want to sign you. And I was like, look, if we're driving down the M40, it has to be done. So let's get Mark Hughes on the phone. So I got Spark in the, on the phone. He was like, listen, all good. Agreed, come down. And I was like, 100%. I said, because I've give Mick my word. And as we're talking, all of a sudden, this big shadow has just appeared by the side of the car. <laughs> no. And it's Mick. And he's gone, he's tapped on the window. And I think I undone the window about that much. <laughs> oh, amazing. And, and, so I, and, he, and he said, He's a scary guy as well, well when he's angry. Yeah. And he was like, Is there a problem? <laughs> and I was like, I think it might be Mick. And he went, Come on then, let's go and sort out like men. Like that. Literally, and he turned around and walked off, and I'm like, like a little school kid behind him. Yeah. Oh. So I followed him into his office. I've gone, look, Mick, I'm really sorry, but Fulham have come in and it's home for me. And I explained the situation. Yeah. Yeah. And he he, he understood because his family was from London as well, from when he was time at Millwall, right, and he was up there on his own. And he said, look, I understand it. If I could get down south, I would do as well. And then a few explicits were uh, were, were shouted, and he said, get out of my office if I can swear. He said, yeah, yeah. he said, basically, get out of my office. Oh, like that, that. and then uh, yeah, sort of. Um, I walked out, and I felt bad because I did yeah, yeah, give him my <laughs> handshake. Still agreement. in the Wolves training kit. Yeah, and I literally to, to I got it. that off as quick <laughs> as I could, and uh, and yeah, and we and we come down south, and it was done. So oh, that's a joy. Yeah. Was there any part of you when he knocked on a car, or were you walking jobs thinking actually I might just stay just to avoid the wrath of? There was an element. There was an element of that, and I just thought that that probably lasted 0.2 seconds. <laughs> And then it was, uh, yeah, the rational and thought, I, was, like, I was home. I bet that was good to pull away. Do you know what I mean? Like the moment you got out of that training ground and started heading. Yeah, I was still nervous thought. though. I was still nervous because I'd given him a word. I felt really bad on that. This Because in football, you never know. Like this, that situation there. Until something signed, sealed, delivered, you sure. never know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so even that driving down that night and then doing the medical, uh, yeah. But then when, again, when, it, when I signed, it was great. It was great. I remember my first session as well, oh, my first on. training session. So my first training session, I signed on the Friday and the lads played, and I'm sure they played Peterborough in the FA Cup on yeah. the Saturday at home. So I trained with a few of the ones that left over, a few of the injured ones, and I trained with Musa for the first time. Mm, and I yes. never even, never knew him, never heard of him. Yeah. So we were training here and then we was going to go to Craven Cottage to watch a game. Yeah. So I trained and Musa's sort of rocked up late as he did sort of laces undone and I'm like who's this cat <laughs> wow he literally I was blown away blown away I literally I walked straight in got on the phone to Bob's because he was obviously on his way now to the stadium I was like Bob's who the f- is Musa like this kid is unreal he said mate get on YouTube just watch his clips from AZ Alkmaar and uh, he just blew me away yeah. literally blew me away and then yeah. I went down to the stadium after and then watched the uh, I watched the game and um, 
and then that was it from I think the next next week onwards I just literally hit the ground running just incredible like, like it's so funny that you say you felt at home immediately because from the outside perspective as a Fulham fan you've just felt like a Fulham player instantly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, sometimes it takes like six months. Even with yeah. Moose, it took a little second to work. Yeah, you know, we like, like, shift them the around players. places, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. It just felt like, you know, like visually, it's like, oh, Sid's just yeah. like yeah. a Fulham. Straight away, straight away. I think my first game, Wigan away, I don't think I come on. And then we played Stoke at home. And then I think Dix, Dixon got injured and I come on. So they, it would have been you and Danny. Would it have been you and so Danny? So, yeah, Dixon got yeah. injured and I come on for about the last half hour. They had a man sent off and I played out my skin. I like mm. nearly scored and straight away just, just right. couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to train, couldn't wait to play. Yeah. There was a bit of rivalry with me. Like Murph was obviously always going to play. It was always like me or Dixon that was going to gonna be sort of side by side with him because Musa would sort of play either in front or right on the, on the wing. Um and yeah, just just played and enjoyed it and just played my best football. Did you feel like you were the player that you'd hope you would were at Villa type yeah. thing? Something just Yeah, just something yeah, just something was there and again you'd think all the ingredients at Villa, you know, James Milner, Petrov, Stewie Downey, Nash Young, Gabby, yeah. Heskey, Dunny, James Collins, Brad Freeman Goal, like we had a massive Yeah, names. like we um, we should have got top four one year. Yeah. But like I said, just some things just don't, it just didn't happen for me there for whatever reason. And yeah, you look back on your career, that's that's one negative. But this was definitely a positive that took over. Yeah, yeah. It's funny as well, when you say Hodgson, you almost signed for Hodgson, because I, I can see you perfectly in that yeah. team as well. Yeah. That group of players, the way they were, that kind of like slightly traditional, yeah. solid, yeah. Yeah. reliable, do you know yeah. what I mean? Just regimented yeah. in their time. Yeah, exactly. I hate playing against them as well. Did you? Just, oh God! It was like just four, four, two. Just the gaps were tiny. They was just they just knew distances, and it's just so hard to break down and beat. Um, Do you know what? it's actually funny you say that because Danny Murphy was in here last week, yeah. and I when, I don't know if you caught this, you will have done. But the first thing I said was like determination, character, throwing yourself in front of the ball. Yeah. He actually took a bit of an affront to that, didn't he? He said to me, actually, you're doing, you do us a bit of a disservice by saying that because anyone can throw themselves in front of a yeah. football and we were actually like really gifted yeah. and organised and yeah, all that yeah. kind of thing. It yeah. was like a sort of moment of like, oh, he's put me in my place there and yeah. understanding football because, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Like a way more than but that. they done it every day. Like, I remember talking right. to Bob's when he was here and he was like, oh, mate. Just no five aside. It's, it's horrific. Like not horrific. He just yeah, that that fun element. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just just so regimented. He said, but come game day, we know what we're doing, and we and it's becoming fruitful. So yeah, you yeah. can't knock it. But yeah, that still had an effect when I come and obviously That's Mark Hughes took over. Yeah. So he, he obviously changed a little bit. But that ethos was still there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And everyone loves playing at Craven Cottage. I loved playing at Craven Cottage. Home. For the home team or for the away team, yeah, which yeah. is a nice place to go. Yeah. Nice and friendly. A bit too friendly, probably if, if I've got a, a real... As a home atmosphere type yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 like yeah. sometimes with me, you know, I like that, you know, that real cauldron of, you know, yeah, going yeah. there and especially playing away from home. I love, I prefer playing away from home than I did, did at home. But uh, yeah, Fulham was always a nice place to, to go and play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>